I really like this tattoo. I think that it's really dynamic and beautiful. Your palette is excellent. It absolutely hits the challenge into the cleavage of this sea goddess. It is a solid, strong, badass tattoo. Artists, you have six hours to create an anatomical tattoo, and your time begins now. Oh my god, it's not even done yet. That looks sick. This I like it here. All right. Yes. Wow. We got this. I like that. My canvas wants to get his bones on top of his hand. He wants them to go all the way down to his up fingers. With as much arthritis as you have in your fingers, I might have to make the finger joints a little bigger. As long as it matches. His mitt is too swollen, too big. It's not at all like the stencil that I was working off of. You got a great big mitt, man. I have to show precision here, so we're going to have to freehand some finger pieces in. Here we go. My canvas wanted plain, simple cat scratches on her butt, but what I came back with was better. It's an anatomical part inside of her thigh, and there's a bow sewn in and out of it. I definitely threw her the idea of doing something a little bit different. Nobody really has this. There's a lot of things that I learned last season. I am not here to play it safe. My canvas wants her armpit tattooed with an anatomical heart. Ah. I really want to be able to impress the judges. What made you want to get this in your armpit? I can't. I can't. You can. Oh, my god. You can handle it. Ah. Four hours to go, everybody. My canvas wants a rotten rib cage with pink guts hanging out. I'm really going to show lots of precision in the placement of it. It's coming together so great. All right. Oh, here you go, Madison. We'll go ahead and give you $800,000 now. The judges might be looking for more of a realistic look to my tattoo. I'm taking a risk. I might really stand out by doing something a little different. I'm doing a G-clef staff cut out of the deltoid muscle, as if it was surgically removed from the body. So I'm going to do partial saturation and then build up uh, during the process. What is this tattoo? I have no idea. That's not anatomical at all. One hour to go. He wants his rib cage tattooed, so I said, instead of going in, I want to bring something out of the skin. Yeah, I'm going to leave some skin and stuff. That way, it's like some traditional elements to it. I know I'm taking a risk with this design, but I'm following the actual rib cage, and I hope that it pays off. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's it. Time's up, machine's down, no more ink. Turned out so good. I'm so excited for you. This is like my favorite music tattoo I've ever done now. I love it. Me too. See what happens from here, man. I didn't finish it. It's a possibility that I can be the one to go home on this one. This week, we had you create an anatomical tattoo using precision to make it look exactly like the inside of the body. Kyle. The detail you got in the bones and the way that you laid this tattoo out, placement was incredibly hard. My thing on this tattoo that I don't like is obviously the use of the white. As I would do a line on his hand, three minutes later, it was blown out. I started trying to hide some of it with my white lines. All that white won't hold, and it puts your client through a lot of extra pain for no gain. Jackie. How much research did you do on the spine? I stayed up for hours trying to research each section. You took your time to put the details in each bone. You made it look like bone. It doesn't come off as rocks. More than anything, you really surprised me, and it's a great surprise. Jackie, well done. Thank you Thank very you much. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Craig. The little details you put in here, the precise fine lines you put in, the strands of those muscles, and the way you followed it with the shading, it's really nice. This is what you guys are competing against. And this is what we compare all of your muscle tissue to. At the end of the day, this is what you're fighting, not me. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Craig. 
we felt like you did the best job. The color, how it popped out, all the way to the detail. Congratulations, man. Thank you very much. You have six hours to create a biomechanical tattoo, and your time begins now. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right, yeah. These tattoos need crazy amounts of detail to make it come to life. Ribbing, piping, bone matter. If somebody can't deliver, they gotta go. All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just making sure. No one in this challenge has a chance against me today. I'm making this head tattoo big, bold, dark, and just badass. I know what I'm doing, and I'm not going anywhere. Getting there, trying to make progress. I'm here to win. Get my money and go home. When my mother passed away, I was 17. She was stolen from me before I even showed her my first tattoo. Her memory, that's what's keeping me going. I need to win this. You know Aaron Kane's here, so you better take your time on a biomech piece. <laughs> Good idea. When I do a rib tattoo, I attack. I go after it, I do it as big and bold as I can. I know I'm a proficient solid tattooer, I'm technically sound, and I'm gonna kick some ass today. It's a big piece, especially on the ribs. I always go ballistic. One hour to go, final hour. Oof. Doing all right? I'll sit here all day. The ribs are a very difficult area to tattoo. I want to show off that I can do a clean, technical tattoo and a difficult skin. My rival's still here. I've been in the bottom. I feel like there's a ton of pressure right now. You need some thicker lines. I'm excited to see your tattoo. I'm excited to see yours, pal. Thanks, buddy. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's it, machine's down, time is up. No more tattooing, please. Check it out. Wow, the detail's unreal. That's crazy. <laughs> That's awesome. Today, all of you went head to head creating biomechanical tattoos. Emily. This is a nice, clean tattoo. It's kind of a delicate approach to biomech. I like the symmetry that you did. The two opposing images, they do have a nice flow. This is actually one of my favorites. The softness of the two pieces coming together and the way it looks like jewelry, I think is really nice. Thank you very much. Holy balls. Jason. There's a couple of really strong tricks in here. Using opposing contrasting colors. It's like bang, bang. That makes it dynamic immediately. I think the amount of detail is nice, very legible. Overall, I think it's a well done tattoo. Eric. My favorite part of this tattoo is the readability. The composition is really strong. You got the biomech elements just right. The contrast you got from the monochromatic background and then those red elements in the foreground really gives it a punch. Overall, good work. Thank you. Clean. You didn't go crazy in details, but there's tremendous detail in it. You did a lot of repetitive things, only they don't repeat themselves. Each section of the beads is different. It gives more of an artistic feel. I tried to change up a little bit as I went, just so it wasn't so stiff. This is a strong tattoo. Thanks. All right, let's pull the judges and award tattoo of the day. I really like Jason's design. That stands out to me across the room is that's biomech. I like Eric's, I mean, it's executed well. If you want to talk detail, I would say Clean probably had the best detail. What I like about Clean's tattoo is even though he did a rigid design, he was smart enough to just make it free-flowing. Final decision. I think Eric. I'm going with Clean. And I'm going with Clean. The winner of the best tattoo of the day is Clean. Thank you. You have six hours to create an illusion. And your time begins now. Great, let's do it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the stencil on you. In order to achieve an optical illusion tattoo properly, you're gonna really have to know the anatomy and dynamics of the image that you're tattooing and the body part that you're placing it on. And left. Dude, that's perfect on the first try. If you're not ingenious doing these tattoos, you will not succeed. Oh. Uh... They really didn't like the shell. There's not much elements besides the scales on her face that are gonna make her look like a mermaid. I just know my pain tolerance, and I just want you to be able to have a finished piece. Whether I do a hand or a hand with a shell on it, it's gonna be about the same amount of time. 
I have to show ingenuity with this tattoo. If I start taking details out, it might make no sense. I'm going head to head with my mentor, Cruzman. I really, really just need to win an elimination challenge. Hi, guys. Hey, buddy. How you doing? My final tattoo before I go home, Ski. I feel like I can't win for nothing, man. I'm just getting screwed left and right. I have too much integrity to give this lady a headless pin up on the back of her head. I'm not gonna do it. Sometimes you can't be bought. This is the type of challenge that's making me want to throw in the towel. Hi. Hi. I'm Chris. Brandy. So originally I had drawn up a Medusa right for the other girl, kind of tweaked it up to make it work. How do you feel about the same concept? Not my style. I'm thinking water goddess, like mermaid. Okay, gotcha. All right. I just drew for three hours for the Medusa. I'm meeting my new canvas, and she wants a water goddess or a mermaid. Another three hours of drawing. After he sees what I'm doing, he's going to try to, like, overshoot it. He could try to go bigger, even. My head's all screwed up. I'm burnt. I'm spent. <sighs> I'm here for one thing. So this time, I'm not screwing around. <laughs> Craig is here to play the game against other strong artists, and he chose to go head to head with me. I definitely feel the heat because you're a rad tattooer. I wasn't going for anybody easy. You've been killing it. <laughs> Thank you. Huge mistake going up against me. I'm tattooing a bold, bright, traditional tattoo on this guy's knee ditch to knock Craig out. Oh, yeah. Three hours remaining. Three more hours. Oh, my god. So that would be like the general idea. And we'll start some seashell. OK, awesome. I finally got the water goddess drawn. We're ready to tattoo. Mentally prepared for six hours, OK? The goal is to finish and win. That's it. Chris doesn't get discouraged easily. If anything, he's going to try harder to beat St. Mark out and hopefully just kicks his ass. We're doing some ass grass. We're going to leave the grass ass colored. I am an artist with vision. It's going to be hard to stack up against my tattoo. Chris is going to have to work double time to try to even get close. Final hour of tattooing. Uh, towards the end, it's the worst part. I made it this far. You're doing really good. All I can do is try to coach her down a little bit to keep her from tapping out on me. You all right? Yeah. Just going to power through. Bear with me. I really need to win against Earl. That will prove that I deserve to be here. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. It looks amazing. I love it. I love it. Sweet. Cruzman might just go to the bottom with this tattoo. He did not try to use her hair for the illusion at all. I expected way more out of him. Have fun. You think I'm rattled because of this? I'm a Marine. I'm going to adapt. I'm going to overcome this one. I'm going to give her a fantastic tattoo. St. Mark, you have nothing on me, and I'm going to beat you in this challenge. Got to hang with me, OK? I'm trying. Today, you had to use ingenuity to come up with a clever way to transform your canvas's body part. Craig. In the bends of the knee, the skin is very soft. It's very delicate. I think you did a great job applying this tattoo. The way it's placed on here, when her leg's straight, it looks great. When her leg's bent, it looks great. It's just a really smooth, slick tattoo. Chris. I really like this tattoo. I think that it's really dynamic and beautiful. Your palette is excellent. It absolutely hits the challenge in terms of making this girl's ass crack into the cleavage of this sea goddess. It is a solid, strong, badass tattoo. Dave. Out of the people that had to attach a foot or a hand onto a foreshortened image, you're the one that took the right approach. This angle of the arm has a smooth transition out from way back, leaning forward to the fist. It's a nice, smooth, soft ending, and I think you really pulled the tattoo off. Big C's. You have done a really great job of making this belly button the Buddha's belly button. The shading in this, so much better than anything I've seen from you. And I'm happy for you. I'm glad to see you come back. You have six hours to transform your canvas into a cyborg. Remember, every hour you must switch tattoos, proving your consistency. And your time begins now. Today we're testing consistency by doing a tag team tattoo, rotating every hour. That's cool, buddy. Team Peck for the win. 
Today's tattoo is a good test of consistency because the tattooers have to make it look like one tattooer is doing it. It's kind of like that, right? You agree? Yeah. Do your outsides fat, one pass. Do your insides thin, one pass. We have a perfect plan mapped out. As long as the girls stick to it, we're going to kill it. See these sections where the red breaks in? Yep. Just yep, free and fun. I'm on it. Think I'm OK even though I went down there? Yeah, just don't do them on the rest. OK. I never do biomechanical, so I need to take every bit of advice Nunez gives me. He's making sure that we're as solid as possible. I think we're OK. Just remember, we don't win this thing. One of us is going home. Damn, quit reminding us. At this point in the game, I don't want anybody else having their hand in my tattooing. I want to do what I do, and that's it. How do you want to do on these um, skin rips? Skin rips? So to you guys, dark wash? Team Nunez definitely has the advantage. I've already seen Nikki and Kelly work together as a team, and they do it seamlessly. Guys, un underneath some of the skin rips, I'm putting a little bit of black, OK? Underneath. Three of us together, all doing different styles. I mean, honestly, we got no chance. Five hours remaining, and switch. You're coming to Nate's, and I'm doing his arm. I just did black, gray into red. Is that too dark? It is. I walked away, and we had a game plan. I came back in. This thing's so There is no biomechanical background, and the exterior was supposed to look like metal plating. It turned into rocks. If this thing is just a skull with these broken rocks around it, these guys are going to get torn apart. And switch stations. Are you good there, Ryan? Perfect. Are you good? I'm good. Once again, just like any other Team Peck challenge, Gian and I are working well together taking the lead. You already outlined the whole medium? No. Nah, none of this is done. That's not done. But Nate is just pessimistic and slow. What's the plan? Look what Ryan's doing, and you start doing what she's doing. Nate has to pull his together, or Gian and I are going down with him. Artist, time to switch. Did I it up? Just keep rocking. This is the least confident I've ever seen Nikki. If we make back here like the source of light, this being dark makes perfect sense. That'll be cool. I'm going to start doing that. OK. What's done is done. I just have to keep on track and make sure that she knows she's still doing a good job. We're going to be OK. Five, four, three. Two, one, that's it. Machine's down, time is up. No more ink. Woo! Oh, your mama. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Damn! Look at this thing. Dude, we killed it. Hey, you okay? Hmm, no. I really doubt this is gonna win. It's supposed to be like a cyborg. It doesn't look like metal, it looks like rocks. I went too dark on one part of the skull. The realization is setting in that my hard work is probably sending one of my girls home. Me and Kelly don't know how to do bio. We didn't go in the gear and mechanical direction either. I mean, it may look consistent all over. You're here to fight. You have to put up a good one. Today, you had to show consistency tattooing cyborg tattoos. Remember, you're being judged as a team. Let's see how you did. Team Peck, let's start with you. Looking at the three tattoos, they all have a consistent feel. But there are a couple of differences. The one with the trigger, it looks like the smoothest of the three. It has a much softer, powdery feel to it. That's the one that's the most open and the most readable. Your other tattoos have a lot of small, tucked away pieces that are in there. The left leg is a lot heavier, a lot blacker, and a lot deeper in your outlines, as opposed to the other leg. Those outlines, they're thin. There's a lot of wobbles. One thing I was unsure about is, like, what is ripping out? Is that supposed to be skin or plywood ripped open? For the skin rip? Oh, is it skin? Yeah. What he asked us for was almost like a striped slash sort of like claw look. 
I mean, it looks like he definitely did what he asked for, and sometimes that can be a little bit dangerous. This is that type of skin rip that has that tendency to look like bark and look cracked instead of looking torn and flexible. But the way you designed it and laid it out, this is a design that can appeal to people whether they know what this imagery is or not. I think it's a crowd pleaser all around. Thank you. Judges have decided the best tattoos of the day go to Team Peck. Y'all hit it. The cyborg element showing a lot of mechanical pieces and overall consistency. It looked like one person could have easily done all three of these tattoos. Team Peck won just because they stuck to the challenge. This means that the three of you are safe from elimination. You can go ahead and have a seat. Do not use any stencils, and you must draw from scratch oh, wow. with no reference. Freehand and no reference? Jesse's made a name for himself being an illustrator and coming up with images off the top of his head. I'm screwed. This is exactly what I need, because I want to do something crazy. I want to do what I do. This is my comfort zone. This is the ultimate competitive platform right here. This is right out of your brain, right onto the skin. Go at it. Let's bring in your canvases. You have six hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. Let's get it on! Jesse Smith and Anthony Michaels could easily make it to the finale. One of them's not. I specialize in little critters, rabbits, squirrels. I do the googly eyes and teeth. These two tattooers have such a different background. Yeah, we can do like a traditional eagle or something. That's cool. And that'll surprise the judges because they wouldn't expect that. Typically, experience is everything, but there are times where inexperience creates hunger and creates drive. I know the judges wouldn't expect it either, but I'm gonna murder the We'll have to see how Anthony does going up against a veteran that knows all the tricks. I'm just drawing right now, seeing what comes out. This is the first time in this competition that I've got a piece of open skin to do whatever I want. I'm taking advantage of it. I can't even figure out what Jesse's drawing. I can't even know. This tattoo right here is a game changer. If I win, then I've knocked Anthony out, one of the strongest competitors, and I have an easier path to the finale. I'm ready to show these guys what I'm made of. I screwed up the American traditional clipper ship. I have to redeem myself. I'm tattooing a freehand eagle across the shoulder blades of my canvas. I'm out for blood. I'm creating something that's badass. All right, guys, you have four hours remaining. Ooh, damn. I think right now Anthony's balls might be bigger than his head. He wants to impress the judges, but I need him to maintain control so that we can make it to the end like we planned. So just really, really like concentrate and make the full page just perfect to make sure this is technically on a point. Everybody's helping Anthony out. Nobody's trying to help me out. Make sure you do tough clubs. I got three on top and then one on the bottom. They have four. Yeah, three on top, one on the bottom. I'm not competing against one person on this tattoo. I'm competing against five. I'm pretty sure it's three and one. But you know what? Adaptability is being able to take a bad situation and make it good. My dad was in the Army. I grew up all over the world. I've had to adapt every time I've moved. I was always exposed to a bunch of different artists, and I pulled a piece from every artist I've ever met, and that's where my style comes from. Now I'm all alone, and I'm getting to do what I want to do. Anthony's in trouble. Everybody's gonna help Anthony because Jesse's tattoo is coming straight from his head. It's not gonna be very easy to critique. I think you should tell him I didn't eagle because he eats little googly-eyed creatures. Anything you say about it, he could just explain away in some imaginary fairy tale story. This particular guy lives in the Creotic Sea, preys on skimper fish. I don't know why Anthony's choosing to do traditional today when he doesn't do traditional. Maybe he's got a point to prove. Two hours, two hours to go, guys. I'm gonna rip that clock out of the wall. What's pushing me in this tattoo is remembering everything I had to fight for back home. When I was five, my sister went to the hospital. They were gonna remove her appendix, and they gave her too much anesthesia, and she died. By the time they brought her back, she had lost too much oxygen to her brain. She was a vegetable, she was on life support. But, man, my mom wasn't accepting anything the doctors were saying. She fought tooth and nail, man, to get my sister back to where she is now. She went from being a vegetable to winning medals left and right in the Special Olympics. My mom definitely inspired me by her tenacity. She didn't quit. Everything I've been here fighting for, this is it. Five, four, three, 
two, one. That is it. Time is up. Machine's down. No more ink. Woo. Down to the wire. Good job, David. It's badass. You can't get a more different approach on each one, you know? Pretty crazy, man. Jesse was smart, doing something that he loves to do. Big-eyed, crazy creatures. Your muppet's got toofus I don't know what the hell it is. Well, they can't get you on anatomy, because nobody knows what the f that thing is. But I think it should be way more saturated than it is. Jesse's supposed to be the color guy. Go figure. Today, you faced off to prove your adaptability by freehanding your design directly onto the skin with no reference. Jesse, let's start with you. So what are we looking at here? This is a Aka bunny fish. It's pretty much straight from my head. It's a very creative tattoo. Definitely recognizable as your style of artwork. But at first glance, it's a little bit confusing. The way the body turns around the back and what's going on. Are there supposed to be stitches that are holding the thing together in the back? Yeah, this particular character, he's been through some bad times. He relies on the pattern on his sides to attract other fish so he can have a meal for the day. It makes me sad to know that he probably won't last that long because he can't move like a normal fish. Things crazy. You know, there's really nothing you can say about what this is because it's something totally created out of your mind. I think it's a great creative approach. There's some areas that are really shining, the nose, the fang, the little textures that really stand out strong, but there's some saturation issues, some muddy colors, like the orange spots that look scratchy and unfinished, and there's some areas that I think could have been a little brighter instead of that pale yellow. Overall, it has a more muted, washed out feel. This was your chance to really do something super bright and poppy on pale skin. Well, Jesse, there's no doubt about your creativity, but then looking at the consistency of the outline, you have a lot of different line weights. You have some areas where you get a little gray or you have some thick where it looks like you had to pick up in some spots. Overall, you did a really cool image. This is gonna boil down completely on both sides of the table to technicalities. Anthony. This isn't really the most traditional eagle in the world. I wanted that feel. I know there's so much more about traditional tests and there's so many rules involved. So I wanted to be a little looser, but keep some elements of traditional being the black, and I tried to simplify the design as much as I could. But have you drawn a lot of these eagles? No. Drawing an eagle like this from memory, very risky. Just going from nothing and coming up with an aesthetically pleasing look, I think it's a great take. I love this outline throughout. Big, nice, crisp but there's some questionable ways you did the feathers in the wings. I didn't want the wings to look so uniform. I shouldn't be able to see the feather lines go all the way to the base. That black should be black enough to where those lines disappear into the blackness. Where, to me, things get short is the color. I don't love the brown stripes off the yellow in talons and in the wings. It doesn't speak to me as powerfully as everything else in the tattoo. What are you guys' thoughts? It's not apples to apples. Definitely taking a risk doing a style you're not familiar with. I think as a personal triumph for Anthony, I was happy to watch him swing for the fences on that one. I see more hiccups on the eagle outline than that one. You know, everybody's like, ah, it's just so crazy. But there's a science to doing what he does because there's 100,000 guys out there trying to do exactly what he does, but it doesn't work. So there is a right and wrong way to do a crazy character like that. When you look at that, you're like, that's Jesse Smith. But then if you're creating a fantasy character, I have to look at the character and believe that it can function. Jesse's arm coming directly out from underneath the cheek didn't look like it functioned. And then the fin, I don't understand if that's on its back or if it's coming down a ridge or something. I drew it all on, and as far as adapting from what I normally do, I drew with the tattoo machine while I was going. There was a lot of decisions I made that weren't on there when I started. Which artist is going home? I feel like there's some technical problems with both these tattoos. We will all agree that both have some kind of anatomy issue. We all agree that some areas of each of the tattoo are light, where I would say that there's a gap would come down to outlines. Definitely, Anthony's tattoo has a much stronger outline. Looking at it line by line, pass by pass, stroke by stroke, the finesse that's in that outline, that is what's really strong. In terms of overall readability and maybe just taking it up a notch, Anthony may have stepped a little bit further out of his comfort zone. My final decision, Jesse. Jesse. The judges have decided. Jesse, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Thank you for the second opportunity. I appreciate it. Jesse, you do something that is really your own thing. But then the fact that you tell us a sad story about the fish means you're actually thinking it through, which is a true sign of an artist. But it came down today to the simplest part of the whole tattoo, the outline. Please pack your machines and close shop.
All right, guys, you'll have three hours to freehand your designs and then six hours to tattoo. Based on your work, one shop will be out. And your drawing time starts now. This week, the tattooers are being judged on artistry. Freehanding is something that I want to know that an ink master is going to be able to do. Drawing straight on the skin, going directly to your outline with your machine. No stencils. I'll be done when the time starts, I promise. You shush. Did you say that? He's killing me right now. The person who's drawing has to quarterback the tattoo throughout because they see the vision and they have to translate that to the person that's inking it. You see how it's like darker gray there? And then it fades out? Oh, I see what you yeah, mean. Yeah, so it's like a little bit lighter off that shoulder. Yeah. Wow. Did you do this? Mm -hmm. Jesse drew the full rendering of this image. It's like I'm working off a stencil. I feel like we're going to bounce back from last week, so I'm ready to get it done. It looks good, man. You're killing it. I told you we were going to make a realism artist out of you yet. I'm like a proud mama right now. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Yay! What do you think, Marvin? You into you it? it. Yeah. <laughs> Today, you had to prove your artistry. Unkindness art. Doom, you drew, and Aaron, you tattooed. The composition and the artistry here really works well. The details in the headphones, very precise. It looks like you literally just used his hand for the reference. We told him to put his hand on my sketchbook and like he was, like he does, and we just drew it from that. It has that motion. You can see it pressured onto the record. Y'all came up with a great piece. Thank you. Thank I appreciate you. it. Pins and needles. Jesse drew and Allison tattooed. It's a very clean, very deliberate, beautiful drawing. I love the detail in the feet and the tree the face of the vulture, the soft, shaded background. You guys did a great job here. Welcome back. Thank, Thank you, guys. you, guys. All right, guys, it's now time to announce best tattoo of the day. I really like what Unkindness Art did. This is the most well-drawn. This is my winner of the day. But the team in the room that has the most cohesive design would be pins and needles. Everything on their piece, it all works. That's why I lean with the girls. I love this tattoo. I got to go with pins and needles as well. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to pins and needles. All right, guys. Welcome to the face-off. Basilica tattoo, golden skull tattoo, Old Town ink, and artistic skin design. Based on your work today, one shop will be eliminated. Bubba, Aaron, Christian, Dane, because you did not tattoo one of the four horsemen, you must tattoo in this face-off. Fair enough. Your teammate can consult, but cannot draw or tattoo. It's on you alone to keep your shop in this competition. To prove your adaptability, you must draw your tattoo directly onto your canvas's skin freehand. You cannot use any stencils, and you must draw from scratch with no reference. Oh. Each been randomly assigned a canvas, and the subject and style of your design is completely up to you. Yes. Do something that you know is going to rival the people in the room, and then deliver your best technical application. Looking at how you tattoo these things directly from a pen is all going to show in this challenge. Today could be a major curve. You have six hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. So this, this pedal will start to bend down or whatever, and this one will bend up. I'm happy Bubba's tattooing by himself. He's been ragged on this whole competition about not being as strong as me. Well, he's about to show off right now. Bingo. I gave up everything coming here. My daughter, my business. I left so many things back home. My heart is all in this. This time around, there's nothing that's going to stop me. Ready? Mm -hmm. I've got a feeling me and her are going to do just fine today. That has a good flow to it. Does Yeah. Cool. I'm glad we made the choices we did. I know how this competition goes, and I wanted to make sure somebody's in reserve who's done these head-to-heads. So close. Final hour of tattooing. Oh, my god. Sticker, dude. I love it. I do, too. It's beautiful. Yeah. Today, you had to face off proving your adaptability by freehanding your design directly on the skin with no reference. Basilica. Christian, you tattooed. 
It's a beautiful tattoo. Looking at the shading, the different line weights you have, the style of hair. The only bit of complaint that I have is the left eye looks a little far. I knew I was taking a swing doing something like this, anatomical especially, and when you're getting down with markers, the lines are pretty bold, and yeah, I missed the mark on that left eye a little bit, but other than that, I was pretty happy with it. This is a great example of just being able to be comfortable and draw something on and be a craftsman. I think it came out really slick. Thank you. Old Town Inc. Bubba, you tattooed. It's a big, very simple tattoo, but what is so nice is how clean it is. The outline's clean, the color is clean, the saturation is nice and bright. And these big areas of pink, nicely, smoothly saturated. It's very consistent throughout. DJ, what are your thoughts? I think he killed it. Super proud of this dude. He just decided to like, oh, I'm gonna study Japanese last night. And he watch did that bunch last of night? Yeah, like. You had no idea what you guys were in for today. Since we've been here, I've been picking a different subject every night and just kind of honing in on it. That's a competitive spirit right there. Yeah. 100%. Awesome, good to know. Thanks, guys. All four of your teams have received pretty favorable critiques here. We always get to a part in this competition where at a certain point, a good tattoo is gonna go home. So Bubba, Old Town Inc., you guys are safe. You must draw your tattoo directly onto your canvas's skin freehand. You must push your skills to the limit and expertly finesse your design so that it fits the flow of your canvas's body perfectly. The subject and style of your tattoo is completely up to you. You can't draw on the skin, you can't lay out a good tattoo, you can't be here. It's that easy. Please give us a hard decision. Please show us what you're good at. If you have a mental stencil, today's the day to break it out and use it. You're gonna need it. Based on your work, one of you will lose your shot at $100,000 and the title of Ink Master. You have six hours, and your time starts now. Young Ready? girl, this is your challenge. Ready, dude? Yes, sir. Let's get it. Let's I was thinking about freehanding an owl on there. I want to up my game so it's making it harder for these guys to catch up. Owl's my spirit animal anyway, so. Do you like? Ooh, let's do it. I've been waiting this whole competition to do something anywhere near my style. And finally, in this challenge, I get to do that. I'm going to show everybody what a Jason Elliott tattoo is. But they already did Honey Man, so what have you done to do? Whatever you want to do, just do it. I'm thinking about doing a honey mask because I know I could draw it and tattoo it in six hours. They don't care if they just did a honey mask. I'm, why the f would you care? This is the last tattoo you do ever. Make this the one you want to do. Yeah, yeah. I'm taking a huge risk with this tattoo. Team DJ just did it. But I know I could do a honey mask. I could keep up with DJs. He can tattoo. It's just his design sometimes is questionable. Yeah. And he'll have to figure that out. He's just picking something that, I mean, it was just done. Well, the funny part is you got two guys that are technically really good at tattooing and the designs suffer a little bit. And two people can really design, and you know, their technicals suffers a little bit. So who's gonna outdo who? I freehand a lot at home, so this is, this is really cool. I'm the only one in the room that's freehanding a face. Damn, she's good. Nobody has the balls to do that. If anything is off, a face can look real weird real fast. This is going to be a cool piece, dude. But I'm taking that risk because if I pull it off, it's going to blow the judges' minds. She's excited. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to knock out these boys. That's why. Take them out by the ankles. Four hours remaining, kids. Four more hours. I'm feeling really great right now. You're having fun now, huh? Yeah. There's no way that this tattoo is gonna put me in the bottom. I mean, it's bold, it's slick, and it's fresh. No chance of going home today? No, bro. Not even I mean, The only one that's getting close to you is Diana, and her black is not solid. Dude, hang in there. You're twitching. My canvas has been twitching this whole entire time. You got it. In a freehand tattoo, you're already really worried about not wiping away your drawing. Now I have to worry about my canvas moving around. All right, guys, two more hours. Oh, it's nice, I like that. Thank you. Feel like me and you are probably gonna kill it. Really? Oh, yeah. Why just that? What's wrong with the face? Ours just look better. We're just, we're better tattooers. Well, you nailed it. It looks like a stencil, straight oh, up. Thank you so much. What a surprise. Deanna did a lady face and a rose, again. Show something different. With this tattoo, I'm showing that I do every style known to man. 
It looks exactly how I drew it. The color is bright, the line work is bold. There's no way I'm going home. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. All right, man, we are done. Let's go check this thing out. All righty. Oh, my. That's sick. Thank you. That's unbelievable, man. That's awesome. I yeah, love it. I really like the way it came out. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thank yeah. you very much. No it was awesome. Proud of you. Thank you. Freaking one of the hardest challenges, I think. You have this stuff in the bag. You have these challenges under your belt. You just got to get out of here. That's right. I feel like I did this challenge, and I felt like I showed myself more. I you think know? you nailed it today. Everyone thinks you're going to completely fail on this one. If you take a win, that's going to be even slap better. in the face to all these fools. Oh, my god. Yeah. Today, you faced off by freehanding your design directly onto the skin. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Let's start with Deanna. Deanna, I really like this tattoo from you. It's really delicate. It's really feminine. There's a touch of sexy to it. I also think it's really balanced. I like the fact that you're able to draw this on to the skin with a pen. Thank you. You shine here in the way the tattoo ends. Overall, the tattoo has a really smooth look to it. I wish that you did have some different textures instead of this stippled out liner shade look that it has to it. It's a good tattoo. I think it could have been a great tattoo. Next up is Jason. One of the things that I like about today is that we're seeing your own style for the first time, and I really like this style. You did a great job making this thing dynamic on the skin, drawing it in the position that you drew it. It looks fierce because it's looking at you, but it could be going after prey. It has a messy, perfect harmony. This is definitely the best overall tattoo that you've put out here. Thanks. All right, guys, it is time to determine who's going home. All right, Jason and Deanna, you guys are safe from elimination. All right, guys, for this face-off, you must draw your tattoo directly onto your canvas's skin freehand. No. Without using a stencil, you must push your abilities to the limit and skillfully finesse your design so that it flawlessly fits the flow of your canvas's body. The subject and style of your tattoo is completely up to you. I'm Everything I love to do is realistic, and it's really hard to freehand realism. Here's your chance. You get to show us what you can do directly on skin. Push yourselves to the limit. Make it legible. Make it clean. It's your job to be able to do it. If not, you shouldn't be here. Based on your work, one of you will lose your shot at $100,000 and the title of Ink Master. And this time, you have five hours, and your time starts now. Come on, guys. Let's get it together. Today, these artists have to freehand. This will be where they pull their mental stencil and show us what they got. I thought it'd be cool to do a lucky crab claw, kind of like a lucky rabbit's foot. We're asking them to draw from their head and make it come to life. Oh, dude, super cool. You better make them bulletproof. Jess is doing a traditional ass rose right now. Not even I'm going traditional right now, and that's what I like to do. Freehand, it's 100% like my favorite way to even approach tattoos. I do like your skulls. I think they're cool. Thanks, man. If I'm going to get to do whatever I want, well, I'm going to do something that makes me happy as hell. Cute dead stuff. <laughs> I know the guys on Team Christian side, they're all just crapping their pants right now. Team Clean can definitely outdraw Team Christian any day of the week. Pretty stoked, man. Yeah, you did a killer job, dude. Today, you faced off by freehanding your design directly onto the skin. And based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Turk. It's a pretty sick tattoo, man. A really nice job on the wood grain in the planchette. You have this really heavy, bold outline around the perimeter of the planchette and around the skull, and just how precisely those end, where the cigarette breaks out, where the smoke comes in and goes out. It's very deliberate and really clean. Thank you. Tiffer. It's a very unique drawing. I love the color play and the rope. I love the design of the rope. Good color theory throughout. Dude, this thing is weird. It's cool, though. It's cool. Great job, man. Appreciate it. Killed it. You'll have seven hours to freehand your design directly onto your canvas's skin. Fail to impress the judges, and you'll be packing your bags. Good luck. Awesome. All right, let's go figure this shit out. 
if anything, like if you have certain areas that you're not comfortable with, you know, like the, how the claws and the feet are, bring the wing across it, hide it. I feel like a chicken with my head cut off running around here trying to make sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing and not f***ing up. Today we're testing composition and this is a perfect way because freehanding something onto the body allows for perfect placement. It allows for flow, it allows for the design to move with the muscle or body part. Do you wish that tattoo actually felt like this? Yeah, right. It'd be a lot easier, wouldn't it? If you're proficient at what you do, you can draw directly on the skin, use that as your guideline, and sail away. I love drawing these things. Dang, girl, you almost done. She has a speed of demon. <laughs> Growing up, I didn't have a whole lot of friends. I was just like this weird kid. Drawing was a way for me to escape that reality and put myself in a new one. Nice. I like it. I got the OK, so right. I'm gonna start. <laughs> Today, you had to freehand your design directly onto your canvas. Women's team, Laura. Great illustration. The way the tentacles flow and create such a dynamic silhouette. I love the rich darkness of the tattoo in the webbing. That little hit of light purple with the skin break and then coming in with that red really gives that a nice iridescent looking feeling. For how much tattooing you did, it looks really nice. Thank you. Good job. Danny. What I think is the shining moment to this is the composition that you have of the parallel wings coming down and the hands crossed nicely in between them. The shading in this tattoo, the rich, deep black, and the skin breaks that you leave are beautiful. It sells the look of this thing. Thank you so much. Judges, it is time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Today, I think Danny, Laura, those are the two stunners of the day. Those are my two favorites. Danny, you did a beautiful tattoo. It's a great design. I think it's executed really well. Danny, I love this tattoo, but my vote is for Laura. Thank you. You showed a nice flow here, and I just love the color and the detail you put into this thing. I'm going to go ahead and go with Laura. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Laura. And congratulations, Danny. You both turned in great work. Jesse is amazing at this shit. He's the baddest new schooler in the house. Five million people are going to watch me kick your ass at this. Hey, man, I hope so. I'm getting an underhand pitch in a baseball game. I mean, I got to hit this out the park. And your time begins now. Good luck, Jesse. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. New School is basically loud, color bomb, cartoony tattooing. We're looking for the artist to use smooth blends, contrasting color, and color palette to make the design pop. It's not nerve wracking or anything. Let's do the I think it looks just like them. Glad you like it. Being that this is a New School competition and New School is what I predominantly do, I should be in the top. Jesse Smith is a player in this game. He is the queen on the chessboard. I'm a new school kid, you know? I grew up doing new school, so I'm a lot more comfortable. I'm coming after that mother Two hours left. My client is leaving the color palette completely up to me. I'm gonna shine on this. So what's that across between like a Velociraptor and a lizard? And a T-Rex and uh, whatever the else I, uh, yeah. I thought would look cool. <laughs> I know colors, I can rock this. Now they're gonna see what I'm capable of. Three, two, one, time's up, that's it. Machine's down, no more ink. You done? Ta-da! Awesome. This week you had six hours to complete a new school tattoo. We're testing you on color. Sarah. I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I had everything in my head. You put a lot of white, but you left a lot of skin breaks. So as this thing ages, it's gonna age nicely. Even the colors you did that aren't super vibrant, they're done right. The detail, the color, the eyes, the hat. And you're definitely one of the strongest competitors. Jesse. This is your lane, so this is what we expect. This is a clean, clean, clean tattoo. And you really show off this style. It's a great tattoo. Caricature, style, the nose, to the fine detail in the hair. Definitely one of my favorites of the day. You did a good job. Thank you. Two of you impressed us with your use of color, and two of you did not. Jesse, Sarah, you had the top tattoos of the day. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Sarah. Good job, Sarah. 
you came back, you did exactly what we're looking for. Clean, solid, bold, bright color. Did a great job. I'm gonna do a popsicle today. Ah, freaking popsicle. You have 90 minutes and your time begins now. I draw a lot of new school, but it usually ends up being more like animals and stuff. Coming off the mandala, I'm really excited to go into this popsicle. I know that I'm gonna kill this tattoo and probably do a better job than Craig. Time is up, no more ink. High five. This week, you had to prove your endurance and versatility in a tattoo marathon. A trip to the live finale is on the line. Let's see how you did. Matt. How did you find the marathon, the banging out four different styles, different tattoos in a short amount of time? I mean, honestly, it's a very intense thing for sure. Craig's new school popsicle. The color in this is really strong, really saturated. And I'll really commend you on just the outline on the outside of this. Really perfect, bold outline that's consistent all the way around. The thing's bulletproof. Craig. Your own design. It just doesn't have a lot of colorful pop to it like I was expecting it to from you. The black shading underneath that the color is saturated over the top, it's just not as smooth. Damn. Cruzman. Craig's new school design. The orange creamsicle color is nice, but everybody else did a lot of interesting color play between the actual popsicle itself and the bite. You kind of didn't get that dynamic color play in there. Chris. Craig's new school design. I love the palette that you chose to use here. The teeth marks going all the way through the different layers. I'm also a fan of the texture you put into the popsicle itself. This is night and day from that geometric tattoo. I'm surprised that Craig isn't the obvious winner here. I really like what Craig did, but just the overall vibrance isn't there where I see it in Chris's and in Matt's too. I really like the cleanliness that Matt pulls off in this thing. That coming out and showing us this color bomb saturation does show a lot more versatility. I'm leaning towards Matt's. You will have six hours to tattoo a new school dinosaur. Based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. You're doing great, man. Today we're doing color theory and new school. That's what I'm known for. I'm like a pig in right now. I wonder if they're gonna judge us on an apple to apples comparison to mine and Jimmy's. All right. This is the Royal Rumble of new school challenges. Right now, me and Jimmy Litwalk. Boom, head to head. Nothing like jumping right into it. You gotta be on your toes, man, right off the gate. Who was gonna for you since you've been here? Everybody. Oh, really? Since I walked in the door. Instant target on you, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's gotta be a kick in the nuts. Coming back into this competition, the caliber of artists have definitely raised. We can call them newbies or whatever you want, but they're not new to tattooing. They're just new to this competition. You have a lot of great artists competing, so you have to be great every single time. <sighs> I'm not your favorite person at the moment, am I? Right from the get-go, my canvas is in pain. Ooh, I'll be better when everything is over and done with. I just hope she doesn't stop in the middle of this and just me over. For me, I just wanted to have a fun day. That's why I chose this particular piece. Sausage. Little slippery ass wiener gets the best canvas pick, and I really hope he biffs it like he usually does. Brakes on there, huh? Chain doesn't have any links, but you got some brake lines. That's more ammo to just to pick on you. Right. <laughs> I know I'm not known for new school, but you can't underestimate me. You kicking ass, taking names, or what? I'm trying to. I'm here to get you $100,000. Maddie's got a vendetta. So I'm going to have my sights on you, and I'm going to be firing so that you can get a taste of what it was like to be me. Today, Jimmy challenged you to tattoo his specialty, New School, and we're judging color theory. Jimmy, you're up first. It's a wonderful drawing. The line weights are awesome throughout this tattoo, the dynamics, but it's pretty dark. The trick with that heavy black is to let the bright color show. Clean. This thing's dynamic. 
the balance that you have here between hot and cold. The little green that you have underneath set off with the turquoises and aqua colors, and even the white that pops off the backside of the head. All great color theory, all great color use. Put this much color into this large of an area and have it be this saturated with this little trauma to the skin. You're putting up the bar for these guys to catch up with. Sausage. It's a top-notch tattoo, man. The color saturation is perfect. All these little details you have in the teeth with the different color highlights, even the front fork of the bicycle has those little recessed notches for the axle plates to go through. All tattoos are far from perfect, but this one is pretty close. The little blue outline that you put around this character, it just pops off the skin really well. In a color theory challenge, it's little details like that that really makes this thing awesome. All right, judges, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Sausage. Now my vote's for clean. It's just massive. It has everything to it. It's what Sausage did and more. I like them both. I like both applications. I think Sausage had a little bit more breathability, which appeals to me, so I vote for Sausage. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Sausage. You will have six hours to tattoo a famous landmark, new school style. And based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. I'm not a fast tattooer. I'm still trying to adapt to this competition. I need to speed things up. Every which way I'm stretching this girl's skin, I can't do a straight line to save my life. What up, man? What happened? You having problems? Switched out like three machines already. I might not be able to finish this tattoo. Two more hours to go. I was a little nervous at first because I saw one of the new school tattoos. I don't know, like there was like makeup on it. I have like a style that I do for like feminine new school and then I have a style that I do for like masculine new school. It's just a little bit bolder. My canvas is a little nervous about my design, but he's going with it. The pressure for me to do a really, really good job on new school day is absolutely astronomical. Kelly's is awesome. It's not even finished yet, and it already looks like the Coliseum. And it's new school, and it's everything the guy wanted. Team Nunez, today you had to show artistry by transforming a famous landmark into a new school tattoo. Eric, let's start with you. Overall, your background and the way you played the negative into it works really well for your design. You have some really nice line work, some nice areas here. You have a lot of small, thin parallel lines. I love the juxtaposition of these really bright colors and the primarily black and gray structure gives this building some life. One of the things about making an inanimate landmark new school is to make it become a character, and I think that you hit that. Kelly. Testing artistry today is where you really shine. This is a great drawing, great illustration. The details are spot on. The way you executed the Coliseum is brilliant. I did morph it a little bit, but I wanted to keep it somewhat true to form and then use other elements to bring in a more new school-y kind of feel. The artistry stands strong. The way that the character fades off before it hits the Coliseum and that color blast comes out, it's a great use of contrast. The details in the musculature of the guy and the skin tone, the scratches in his face, it's great tattooing. All right, guys, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Eric and Kelly? I agree, those are my top two. If you just compare the quality and the detail in Kelly's Coliseum to the Taj Mahal, really over the top. Eric definitely put his balls on the chopping block and did a load of tiny little straight lines side by side by side by side and just owned it. We're talking about artistry. Kelly had the foresight to plan alcoves and little windows lined in red because this thing is gonna be glowing from the inside. I mean, she drew that figure from scratch. I think that the artistry shows really, really strong. My vote's for Kelly. I'm going with Eric. I'm going for Kelly. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Kelly. Well done. Thank you. Okay, Gian and Nate, 
This is your last chance to earn a spot in the live finale by tattooing a new school landmark. You have five hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. Just to use like a little bit of tangerine and do it real washy. I'm really nervous about doing this design. I don't even know where to start. If you're nervous, like go in really softly on some of the highlights. Kelly is showing me how she draws new school and I'm listening to every little bit she's giving to me. Just to make that black look nice and rich. She's got a tattoo like it's the last day of my life to make sure I got a win. Where's her other boot? Got to indicate that somewhere. I don't need somebody else around trying to mess up what I'm doing. I've been tattooing a lot longer than Kelly Ryan, so I don't need somebody interrupting and giving me their two cents worth. How much, like, orange do you think you're going to put in? In that flame? In her. I don't know if I'm going to put any. You couldn't hear my eyebrows raising just now, but they did. The entire basis of New School is making things dynamic, and dynamic would also mean dynamic color play. Mm. Not 100% sure on that. John and Nate, that is two hours left. Two hours, guys. Leave yourself enough time to put that bright color in, OK? I'm throwing everything I got into this tattoo. I've never been to the bottom. Nate has been to the bottom so many times. He's trying to convince people that he's doing it on purpose. Bull Nate should go home and stick his strategy up his ass. One, that's it, machine's down. No more ink. Today, you had to tattoo a new school landmark. This was your last chance to earn the final spot. Dion, let's start with you. I really love this drawing. I really like the expression in her face. She has the typical new school big eyes, but the ending of the tattoo is my favorite part. The way that that piece of robe comes across and gives us that open, blowing shape is a very nice way to end the tattoo and keep it soft. All the little details really stand strong, like the fingers grasping the tablet, the little shadow from the top finger on the tablet, the shadow on the neck underneath the chin, all these expert tricks that are really nice in there. You've taken a character, which is a statue, and you've put life into it. I love that. Thanks, man. Nate. I really do like what you came up with here. Face came out really nice. You have that detailed chain at the bottom breaking free, symbolizing freedom and liberty. It pops the little orange blast behind it, pushes the aqua forward. The line weight that you use over the top of the crown is really strong and really solid. You really punch the eyes in with those heavy lines. As far as the design goes, only having one boob that's sticking out has a strange feel to it. But you definitely did a bright, vibrant tattoo. Thanks. John and Nate, one of you is headed to the live finale, and one of you is about to close shop. Time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. These are both bulletproof. For me, I love Gian's nose and lips way more than Nate's nose and lips, but I like Nate's eyes. Nate has a nicer torch. More elaborate torch. I like Gian's flame a lot. That little bit of yellow highlight on the edge of the crown, I really think helps a lot. I don't know why you didn't do that, Nate. Uh, showing that glare. That's New School Trick 101. Yeah, the light source. I was thinking about it, but my torch is more behind her. What's going on, Kelly? You're making a little face over there. What are you thinking? I really wanted to see that highlight, too. She was telling me to do it, but I mean, I just, I didn't. Two great tattoos that are very similar, but the most life that I get out of both of them is Gian's. Who had the best tattoo of the day? This is it. My final vote's for Gian. My vote is for Gian as well. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Gian. Congratulations, buddy. You are headed to the live finale. Amazing. You'll have six hours to show your ingenuity by tattooing a unique new school design. Based on your work, one shop will be out. Good luck. Sweet. Go time. Let's do it. All right. Doing a new school tattoo in a competition setting can be difficult because there's a million styles in new school. Like that? Just a little bit more. Boom. 
These artists are gonna have to use ingenuity because we've seen it all. We're looking for these guys to come out and be original and take a swing at having fun with a piece of art. Hey, right, you ready? Six hours, Bob. If you can't sit, hey, if no, you can't good, sit through, good. we're gonna have to tell you just stop it. We're gonna no, have no, to go touch ourselves. Go for it. Go. I'm, I'm good. I don't mean to be like that, but it's serious to us. It's like 200 grand. I'll suck it up. This kid's chewing his arm off. He's shaking. I'm about to lose it on this canvas right now. What you working on? I'm drawing just in case you can't sit <laughs> and we have to tattoo each other. I'm not going to leave on you. All right, all right. <laughs> I've worked so hard in my career to get to this point. If this kid sends us home, I don't know what I'll do. Three hours to go, guys. Switch it up. Switch. Tag, you're it. Looking clean. Cool, thank you. The second he said his idea, I had a picture in my mind of how I wanted it to look, and that's always a good sign. So what is that thing again, a rotary? It's a rotor from a rotary engine. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Even though we were given really difficult canvases, for the most part, the Alliance is killing it. Today, you had to prove your ingenuity. Christian, this challenge was designed to test your weaknesses. Old Town Inc. I love how vibrant the space in the background of this thing is. It's just enough to let you know what's going on. That shows ingenuity. Space is tricky, man. You did it right by leaving a lot of this open skin in the astronaut, so you use that contrast to your benefit. I love the way the tattoo ends. It doesn't end the same way all around, but it just has a very fluid flow. It's a killer tattoo, and I don't have much to complain about. Unkindness art. There's a lot of really great shining effects in this tattoo. The outline throughout is super clean. You have multiple dynamic light sources coming from each direction, and it hits the image all in the right spot. The green glow from the bottom and then the blue glow from the top is intense, and it looks really cool. It definitely shows a lot of ingenuity in drawing this. Thank you. Thank you. OK, guys, time to announce tattoo of the day. Old Town and Unkindness. The best thing of the day is in unkindness, the eyes, the purple wrinkles, but I don't like the green swirl. In the Old Town tattoo, the way this background was done, that looks really good. I like the really dark background against the light suit. Yeah, that black gives this thing that believable dimension. I'll make it easy. My vote is for Old Town. Old Town. Chris. Old Town it is. Ah, the judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Old Town Inc. Coaches. Today, you must face off in your first grudge match. Yes. Clean's clean house, man. I've been waiting a long time to go head to head with Christian because I'm once and for all going to shut him up. This is what I came here to do. For this grudge match, you must each create two two-hour tattoos. Oh. It's one thing doing a tattoo and doing it at a good pace, but to do a consistent, flawless tattoo in two hours, I mean, that's insane. Do you want to know what I could do in two hours? A whole lot of nothing. One of you will determine the style and subject for the first tattoo, and the other coach will determine the style and subject for the second tattoo. Uh-oh. He's going to do black and gray realism. Guaranteed. There's a lot on the line here today. You guys have talked a lot of to each other. A lot of <laughs> Go get them. We're going to do new school hot rod related imagery. I know I could kill it. All right, Christian, you get to name the style and subject for the second tattoo. We'll go with a black and gray realistic bat. I've always thought that was a weakness to cleans. I got to hit him where it hurts. All right, let's do this. Go ahead and stand up for me, man. Want a pillow for between his legs? Yeah, because I'm going to be hammering down. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Son of a bitch. I'm starting to realize what it feels like to be coached because I've got all these people hovering over me and it's making me super nervous. I raised four kids and five grandkids. One of the things I've always stressed to them is that no matter what, you never give up. I've spent the last year on the road studying, training, and I'm here to win. He's a jackhammer. Holy Watching Clean Tattoo is crazy. I've never seen anybody work so fast and energetic. It clearly shows that Clean knows exactly what he's doing. I tattoo how I want to get tattooed. Get it the f done, mother f Christian's a one-trick pony. I mean, he could talk the game, but guess what? I invented the game. There's no way he's going to live up to this one. 30 minutes remain, guys. 30 more minutes. To 
those yellow soon clean. Any more time. Clean done yet? No. He's stressing a little bit right now. Clean, are you done yet? I don't want to hear that. So scared. Hold me. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's downtime is up. Hold it out at the end. I'm going to go change my drawers. Get ready for your second tattoo. Oh, Jesus. All right, it's time to critique your work. Clean, we'll start with you. How'd it go? Great, man. I tried to make my new school tattoo as smooth as I could in the short amount of time. I really like the tattoo. The illustration is strong. I like the play on the bat wings back at your adversary. The chrome work on it is exactly what you expect to see in a really good new school tattoo. Strong color play and very smooth, strong fades. Thank you. It's pretty badass. I'm just going to admit it. He has a light coming out of the end of the spark plug. He's definitely had wings coming around the sides of it. I'm, I'm a little nervous. All right, Christian, you're next up. I like this take on this style of new school with the big face popping out in the center of the spark plug. Overall, the dynamic colorlessness has to really make it pop. It is a solid, consistent sticker tattoo. Thank you. I can't even tell it's a spark plug. It looks like a crushed can. Final decision. I got to go with clean. For overall legibility, I'm going with Christian. My vote's for Christian. Yes! Yeah. The judges have decided the winner of the grudge match is Christian. <laughs> yeah. You're going to have six hours to demonstrate color theory by creating new school tattoos. And based on your work, one of you will be packing your bags. Good luck. You kids just have fun. This I can't stop smiling when I see this tattoo. <laughs> Confidence builder. I feel very in my comfort zone right now, not only because it's a style that I'm comfortable with, but I'm very comfortable with the design. It was so much fun. <laughs> I chose it because my husband would love it. This tattoo has a lot of like aspects of it that remind me of my husband. He's inspirational to me, so I'm gonna use his energy in this tattoo. Apparently I missed the big lug. That's it, machine's down, time is up. No more ink. Woo! Oh yeah, man, it's real nice. There you go, come check it out. That's dope. Well, I guess. <laughs> That's so cool. Sick. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. You guys crushed it. <gasps> guys, I'm not, I, might, I might not go to the bottom. I don't think so. No, 100% I really don't. not. I'm shocked. I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. I'm gonna say this, I don't think any one of my girls or any one of my team are going down. Fingers crossed. Today, you had to show solid color theory by creating a new school tattoo. Now, unfortunately, Kelly had a family emergency and she's not gonna be with us today. Man, yeah. everything's all right. She sends her regrets to the men's team. She wishes she could be here to support you guys, but she said that you guys all kicked ass and did your very best. And having said that, let's get into the critiques. Men's team, you're up first. Jason. You got a lot of tricks in this. The color play between the dog and the cat is a smart choice because they both stand clear. The details in the guts of the cat get that really gross texture there. Super cool effect. This is the outlines that we want to see. Use those thick lines to push things and pull things forward. That's a big staple of the new school style is using your line weights as a part of the creativity and the design. For the men's theme, you stand out today. Thanks, guys. Alexis. I really like this one. I like this drawing. I like the dynamics of it. I like the leg kicked out. I like the way the hand's holding the cup. You do multiple light sources, so you have the blue to the right side, yellow to the left. Nice tricks. Keep tattooing like this. Thank you. Yeah. That's my friend. Laura. The hat on this thing's really, really nice. That soft black rolls into your darker red, boom, pops right out. I also love the fact that the light seems to be illuminating from the martini, like it's some sort of electric cocktail. Another smooth women's team tattoo. High five me. Danny. Get it, girl. You did a great job with this illustration. Great color theory, great color play. All the elements stand apart because they're colored right. Typically, we're harping on a bolder outline, but because the color looks the way it looks, you kind of get a little bit of a pass on this. This tattoo is really, really good. Good job.
job, girl. Judges, it is time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. The ladies' team killed it. But out of them, who did the bold outline, the biggest, strongest dive into the overall look of a new school tattoo, I can easily say Alexis did it. My vote's for Alexis. Oh, my God. It's unanimous. Judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Alexis. Thank you so Great much. Thank you so much. We got that top, bitches. And congratulations. My hose. You'll have six hours to demonstrate color theory by creating a new school food tattoo. And based on your work, one of you will be packing your bags. Good luck. All right. My team's definitely in hot water here. The only way that I can help is if I make sure I focus on this tattoo and get tattoo of the day. It's absolutely new school traditional. You might start a new fad. Jesus Christ, Jason. Just trying to ruffle your feathers. Get you off the game. This crawfish looks like he's about to get cooked alive. And I'm cool with that because the South and the West, they're about to get cooked alive. And I'm about to paint a portrait of their destiny. Yeah, I'm gonna get tattooed of the day on this shit. Today, you had to show color theory with a new school food tattoo. Let's see how you did. Jarrell. On the color theory side, you really hit this thing, especially in the whipped cream where you use four colors to give that dollop some dimension. The purple comes over the back, goes into the brown, butts up to the green. That's good color theory. Jimmy. This has a very new school feel. The shading in the lemon with the blue on one side, the lobster with the yellow on one side and the blue on the other. You have a little bit of green in the eyes and you throw a little bit of green into the tail and a little bit of green into the leaves. The color play makes the dynamics of the image. Super cool. Thank you. All right, judges, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Immediately, obviously, Jimmy is a strong contender. For the best color pop and color saturation and vibrant, I'm going with Jimmy. I'm with Jimmy. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Jimmy. That's a first. Ever? Ever. Hell yeah, man. Welcome to Ink Master. Thanks. This week, we're testing your use of value, the degree of lightness and darkness in your tattoo. Value is being able to show dark to light with smooth transitions, basic tattooing 101. For this flash challenge, we have a special group of canvases for you. Each of today's canvases has suffered a severe injury. Wow. You will have to transform their gnarly scars oh, no. into phenomenal tattoos. The hardest part about working with scars is that you're not tattooing regular skin that is smooth. You could break the skin, traumatize it more, it's tough. Scars are often extremely sensitive. Because they have excess collagen, they don't hold ink as well as undamaged skin. So it's even more challenging to smoothly transition from dark to light values. Let's meet your canvases. This is Janet. Her scars are from second and third degree burns on her chest. Sharif was impaled when a bed collapsed on him. Rodney had a dog bite on his calf. Suzanne's scars are from getting tumors removed from her back. Dave, he was stabbed in the back in a bar. This is Jimmy. His scar is from surgery on his esophagus. Heather was in a motorcycle accident. Darcy had a mole removed from her shoulder. Next is Bill. His scar is from life-saving surgery he had after an accident. I do not want the guy with the scar running all the way up his stomach. Sharon had a procedure on her hip, and Joe had a knee surgery for a baseball injury. Artists, you have four hours to transform your canvas's scars into tattoos they can be proud of. And your time starts now. Let me take a look at that scar before I start drawing. I think that maybe the best bet would be kind of sneak that right up against that. We decided to go with a really beautiful pink flower in order to show really smooth values. The flower that I found has really great blacks in it that transition perfectly into reds, into pinks, into a light pink, all the way into skin. Yo. Joshua's tattoo is a bull tattoo just because it's safe. He's really not creative at all. He can't draw. He's a photocopy machine. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up, machine's down. No more ink. You turned out cool. Joshua, he got the easiest canvas. It seems like a bit of a cop-out. So, Jackie. You really get that rich, dark value. A lot of good use of dark light shading. And the way you use the texture of his skin to represent where the sand is, very clever. Yes. I think you did a good job with the shading where you show the values and you did the ghost shading inside the flames, which really improves on this. And as this heals, it'll soften up and it'll look a lot better. Thanks. Chris? In this design, you didn't give yourself a big area to actually exhibit a real big example of value, but in the brown, it is really dark, and it does have a smooth transition to light, and that's good. Thank you, sir. Oh, yay, finally, I get some positive response from these dudes. Hopefully, it's the start of a new beginning. Tattoo baby. As far as value goes, you have a very good range of dark black underneath the crest of the wing fading out into the feathers. A lot of good different color values throughout this tattoo, from the beak to the head to the neck to the tuft around the shoulders. Jason. The value that you got in this, the dark to lights, you have some nice areas where it's going to soften up nicely. The soft water in the bottom, that'll blend in nicely into that scar tissue in the center. Thank you so much. Jimmy. I really like the placement. I like the way the jaw rides that scar. Overall, the value that you got out of that nose, the way that your fades go from what your darkest tone is to nothing is what we look for when we look at black and gray. Cool. Craig, how did you guys come up with this concept? I thought that if I could somehow incorporate the dog biting me, it kind of saved me a lot of explaining to do. I would never know there's any scar tissue there because what Craig did was enhance it. The dog is where you displayed your talents in this challenge, using your light grays and dark grays and blacks to really give this the value and the richness that what we're looking for. Did a great job. Thank you. Craig is definitely proving to be a big threat in this competition. Joey? I think the value really came through in this, the nose works with the scarring itself, so it takes the eye just off the scar. What's up, Kyle? As far as use of value goes, you really got some smooth transitions of color. I like the way you use the hot and cold to really offset the color palette. It looks good. Made rich. The wings are a little bit darker. I know they are going to lighten some because you have some gray in there. I think you could have showed a little more transition there. Joshua. Why did you select this canvas? She had a pretty simple scar, and I needed a day where I could feel relaxed and stress-free. You had the easy ride, but you made the most out of it. Amazing value representation in there with how rich this thing is in the dark parts and how soft this thing is in the light parts. Perfect. For this flash challenge, we asked you to transform scars into phenomenal tattoos. Some of you succeeded. Tattoo baby. You really showed rich tones and nice fades, and you did a really good job putting it on a knee, which is already a difficult area. Joshua, real rich color, nice transitions from darks to lights. That was one of my favorites of the day. Thank you. Greg. Another really well done tattoo. The way that you made the dog bite using the scar that he had, great job, man. The judges have decided. The winner of today's flash challenge is... Tattoo Baby. I feel like I needed this. I am so excited. I was actually told, Joshua, this is perfect, and then Tattoo Baby wins, which is total bull to me. Some of the most meaningful tattoos celebrate a personal victory. One of the greatest triumphs is surviving cancer. Your canvases today have all survived one of the deadliest forms, breast cancer. Many of them beat cancer by having a mastectomy to remove the breast. Some women choose to reconstruct their breasts, but the scars remain. And these scars are in a very sensitive area. So it's even more challenging to pull off a flawless tattoo, but that's exactly what you must do for these canvases. As a cancer survivor, I know what it's like to stare death in the face. This tattoo represents life, and it represents the good things that come out of fighting. This is really a big part of doing what we do, is working with our canvases. It's not about you. It's about them. We care that you give them what they want. Today, we have to do the most important tattoo that we've ever had to do. 
It's one of the only tattoos you can give somebody that actually helps change their life. The human canvases will be randomly assigned. Canvases, one by one, please choose a skull to determine your artist. Scott. Sausage. Halo. Maddie. You have the rest of the night to consult with your canvases. And tomorrow, you'll have six hours to tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Good luck. All right. These canvases are looking for great work out of these final four artists, and that's what we're hoping for as well. This is a way to not only commemorate what they've been through, but to beautify it. These guys need to really step up and give them everything they can. My idea was a um, dandelion on the side, blowing across, transforming into butterflies. I hope that getting this tattoo is really going to make me feel like I have my life back. Cancer doesn't own me. I'm just nervous. I know, I am very <laughs> scared. You just put your faith in me. I'm gonna give you a beautiful tattoo. It's gonna be a breeze. Like say we're working right in here. Your scar, you won't even see it. Okay, sounds great. I wanted to get the cross on the one side because my mom died from breast cancer and then flowers on the other side. I want a flowering vine right. across the whole chest. Are you trying to go where the nipples would tend to be? Yes, or yes. Okay. I feel like a war went on in my chest. This is like a battlefield, and I would rather have something beautiful. It's just stand straight shoulders and everything. Lori's scars, they're not symmetrical. This one, you're, you're really, really round. You're a little bit concave on this one. So I have to take a different plan of action. What I'm going to try to do is just make sure that whatever we place over here lays evenly. There is not going to be a symmetry between the two pieces. It's a risk. I could be in trouble. You have six hours to finish your tattoos. Your spot in the live finale is on the line. And your time begins now. All right, let's do it. So this is the one side that I've got mapped out for you. I know that I only have time enough to do one side. Now's not the time to bite off more than you can chew. Since we only have six hours and this is kind of a large tattoo, maybe just concentrate on one side. I just want to make sure that this one comes out the way it's supposed to. It looks like it's going to be beautiful. There's no room for error whatsoever in the tattoo today. Where the Whatever you need it. to do Ooh. to make it look good. To fall short at fourth place would just be a devastating loss for me. After last night, I was like feeling really overwhelmed and started to freak out. I feel like I'm just not ready. Out of all the times to have a canvas have second thoughts, this is the worst possible time. There are four strong artists left. I do not want to get sent home because everybody else did a tattoo and I didn't. I don't want to wake up tomorrow and say, man, why did I, why did I do all that? I'm freaking out right now. What I did is I drew pretty much like line drawings of a bunch of different butterflies. Would you be opposed to not doing the really big one? I really just want to keep it not a lot going on. It doesn't matter if it's a huge tattoo or if it's a tiny tattoo. The precision that I can get in a tiny tattoo is just is nice. Still OK? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be sitting for six hours. No, I did chemo. I can do this. I've got a lot of work in a short amount of time to do it. I have absolutely no wiggle room in this. It's nice that there's survivors like you that can go out there and go like, look, it's not the end of the world. To have that positive spin, I think, is really, really cool. So go ahead and take a look. Hmm. I don't know. Do you think that's good? I do. I mean, let me take a better look at it. This is not going well. I am running out of time. Four hours left, everybody. The biggest challenge is going to be to make sure that she gets exactly what she wants and that she feels beautiful. Last challenge, I was in the bottom and I just squeaked by. I have no choice but to do a perfect tattoo so I can make it to the final three. I can't believe how well you're sitting. Thank you again. I definitely like this. OK, you like the but, flow, but yeah, just too many. I yeah, I don't, but I don't know how to make it more sparse. I just need to do a tattoo today. I think it's really good. I think we can commit to that as long as you feel it. Yeah, I'm good. I have to win this. I'm going to make sure that all the skills that judges are looking for today, they can see within this tattoo. No one is taking that spot in the live finale for me. Two hours remain. Two more hours. All the scars and no nipples. 
you just don't feel feminine. So I, I think the tattoo is gonna bring back that feminine feeling for me. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, time's up, machine's down, no more ink. I've been more nitpicky with this than any flower I've ever done in my whole mm -hmm. life. Pretty? Yeah. You okay? I love the highlights. It definitely could be any artist going home, but I believe that I earned my spot in the finale today. It is perfect. Oh my god. Artists, this was your last chance to prove that you deserve to compete in the live finale for $100,000, a feature in Inked Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. Sausage. Let's start with your mastectomy tattoo. The thing I like the most about this tattoo, I love the way it fits. I love that it's not symmetrical. I think it gives it a unique look. It's just a real quality job, man. Thank you. Thank you guys very, very much. Scott. This wasn't necessarily a cover of Scar challenge. The challenge was dealing with these ladies' situation and giving them something beautiful to be proud of. And just taking your time to do these really soft little detailed butterflies is very impressive. Maddie. Let me commend you on having good taste to pick the proper shaped flower to put on her chest. The way that the flower's closing on the outside and blowing open on the inside, you're drawing with a movement, and that's a great thing. Halo. You're a cancer survivor yourself. Yeah. Did this one hit home for you more so than... Dude, I've never stayed up till 3.30 in the morning drawing four flowers. <laughs> it was intense. Yeah. Well, Halo, man, I really love the way this tattoo fits. It flows with the curve of the body. I really like the soft, out of focus accents on the edges. It really does create that depth, and it creates different textures in the tattoo. Obviously, we have a huge decision ahead of us. Three of you will earn the opportunity to battle it out in the live finale, and one of you will pack your machines. Today, you had to prove that you have what it takes to compete in the live finale. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Sausage. Nice, dude. It showed a lot of ingenuity in putting this design together and really thinking outside the box instead of just doing a big cover-up. You've earned your spot in the live finale. Wow, thank you. Congratulations, man, you deserve it. This week, we're testing artistry. Artistry is the creativity that you're able to present in a tattoo. Without artistry, you're unable to make something awesome. Right now, more than 16 million Americans suffer from diseases caused by cigarettes. In the last 50 years, more than 20 million Americans have died from smoking. Your canvases today have quit smoking, but they're still paying the price. They all have permanent scars as a result. Today, you must help your canvases by making their scars disappear. Covering scars is really, really hard. Some scars do not hold any pigment at all, and sometimes it gets raised and puffed up and even more obvious than it was in the first place. Today's an important day. These people already have a lot that they're dealing with, and these scars remind them of their health battles in the past. And now it's your chance to turn your drawing skills on and camouflage their scars. You will have six hours to help your canvas by transforming their scar. And your time begins now. How are you, my man? Hey, hey, come on over. How long did you smoke for? Uh, since I was 14, stage four terminal throat cancer. How long did you smoke for? I started out at 13. Wow. And I, lung cancer was a 39. How much did you smoke? You smoke a About lot. About two packs a day. Oh, that's crazy. I had to have my lung removed because of it. Definitely makes me want to just quit this We <laughs> just told him that you're one of the top artists here. You'll do a killer job. Yeah. 
Okay, we'll leave you to it. Nikki won't even talk to us. Like, she's so angry, she's literally fuming. Nikki's great with the dark, gothy, cathedral kind of I thought she'd be happy. All right, let's do it. We're gonna do a Japanese dragon. I need to play it safe. Five more hours, five more hours. I've always wanted something like that on my body. Like. This is easily one of the most important tattoos I've done in my entire career. It's really just kids get freaked out about it, you know what I mean? But if it's a picture, they won't get freaked out about it. This guy is 21 years old, and he has a hole in his throat that children are afraid of. Here we go. This is my chance to make it just a little bit better. Wow. Everybody's going to be looking at your neck now. We're looking at my neck already. Yeah, in a good <laughs> way, though, now. Stay very, very still for me. I want these lines to be super straight, OK? Ooh, stay very still. Just tell me to stop, and I'll stop. Just keep that. Yeah, yeah. Scars have major tissue damage, so it's not an easy thing to endure. Pain. My canvas taps, I'm gonna be so bummed out, not just for her, but for myself. I wanna win this challenge. Stay still for me, just do this stuff, okay? The girls are getting tighter every day. We can't let them get too far ahead of themselves. How you holding that? It's a little more sensitive than I figured it would be. Unfortunately, my canvas has been through so many surgeries, his nerves are all up. One moment, he's fine, the next moment, <laughs> He's in excruciating pain. I might not be able to finish this tattoo, but we'll get through it, man. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. That is beautiful. There you are. That's sweet. <laughs> Kelly's throat scar cover-up looks like a space jellyfish. No way she's going to win the skull pick today. Awesome. I love it. Thank you. All right, time to critique your work, and we will start with Kelly. How was it sitting with Kelly? Oh, she did a good job. I'm very happy with it. I understand not wanting to do a big black hole leading into a dark hole. That was definitely a smart, sensible play. But when I first look at it, you don't get this immediate sense of space and galaxy. The way you worked with the skin in that area, you have some amazing color blends, saturated color and really bright color play, but you don't really get a space feel from a distance when you look at it. Eric. You've used his muscle shapes to contour the mechanisms you put in there. Definitely shows artistry. You did some really clean, strong outlining. Even though it's thin, it works really well with the contrast. I think you did a great job. Thank you. Sketchy lawyer. This tattoo came out super slick. Runs right up the middle of the scar. The feather texture really hides the scar tissue from a distance. The lettering's a little busy. It's a little bit hard to read, but once you get up on it, it's super tight, technically done. Kevin. This tattoo overall looks really smooth. The nice texture in the fur, even over top of the heavy scarred areas, you got the same amount of nice shading over the top of the scar versus where the scar wasn't. It's a quality tattoo. Thank you. Tito. It definitely hid the scar, but as far as the overall shape of the tattoo, the way it fit on the back, it was a very odd placement. It's really nice. He has a pretty considerable divot in his back, so to place it where it is, fit the flow of the back, and definitely fit the direction of the scar, in my opinion, it looks pretty good, man. Nikki. He had this crazy, weird dragon. You made what he had a lot better, and you got rid of the scar. The way that you use the scar tissue to play into that rocky texture, to camouflage it all and tie it in, really good. All of the boys in this house are definitely gunning for the girls. If I don't win this skull pick, I'm completely screwed. All right, guys, today you had to use artistry to transform a scar into a work of art. We look great as a group today. To give your canvases something to transform pain into things that they're happy about makes me happy to have you guys repping for us. The judges have decided that the winner of today's Flash Challenge is Nikki. Sweet. Thank you. It was super smooth. You had a lot of obstacles to tie in, the old tattoo, and overall, it just looked so slick. Oh my god. That's perfect, dude. Great pinup tattoos consist of beautiful features, from the hair 
to the toes. The artist's main job here is to play with proportion. If you don't do the exaggeration the right way, it's going to be obviously off. To do a good pinup, you got to do the face, the expression, great. And normally, I'll start at the bottom and work my way up. But here, there is time constraints, so I went right to the head. Get the face exactly how I want it to look, like really tight detail. I'd rather get the face done while we're fresh and not stressing about the last half hour, you know what I mean? The judges want a full body pinup from head to toe, so that's gonna mean that the faces are gonna be a lot smaller than some of the other competitors are used to doing. I'm definitely realizing that I might have went a little bizarre with the cartoon images. New school again. Josh rolled with what he feels comfortable with. Are you crazy, dude? I feel like the judges are gonna rip them apart on that. I know the judges hate new school. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, that's it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more tattooing. I'm stoked. It's finished. It's saturated, clean. They're going to have a hard time trying to eliminate me. Come to this side. I'm excited. Kind of took a gamble doing the pinup a little bit bigger than I think was safe to do in this time management, but I got it done and I'm really happy with it. Shane. It's an action pinup, which is just extraordinary. To put an expression on her face, that just blew my mind, man. The hair flow, you got the red accents in her hair, the red ribbon. Tremendous job, man. He really excelled in the detail. In the mouth, showing the teeth, very tricky to do on pinups of this size. The little shadow underneath the lip where the bottom lip comes out, it just gives it that depth. Dude, yeah, you, you nailed it. I love the way you left a real clear little negative spot under the pupil of the eye. It really makes that lid come in. Overall, you killed this thing. It's technically a beautiful tattoo. It's proportionate, and the choice of using the action in the tattoo makes it stand out from the stiff tattoos. Great job, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Josh. You did a big tattoo. That's impressive that you did that much in five hours. I lucked out by him wanting something colorful and cartoony. I'm a fan of all the color. The contrast on it, awesome. The shirt, the bell bottoms, the farm in the background, the fence, everything you put on there, great job. One of the things we're looking at this tattoo is proportion. And the style of the tattoo you did, realistic proportion is out the window. But the style that you went with, the oversized eyes and head and body shape, I don't think this tattoo is out of proportion. I think you went all out. Gung ho, man. Since day one, you've had a couple bumps in the roads, but you've been a consistent big tattooer. In this competition, I got to judge these guys on what they did, and I would love to have seen you do a pinup like them to see what would have happened. But uh, again, man, what you did, you did. You know, you killed it. OK, artists, I think it's pretty clear which way this is going to go. Shane and Josh. You guys are safe. And while we're at it, we may as well announce who had the best tattoo. Chris? Shane, congratulations. Thanks, man. Today, you must tattoo a pinup. We're testing your attention to detail. If your girl isn't hot, you're going home. You have five hours to tattoo, and your time starts. Now, right, my bro, let's rock. Go, baby. Let's do this. A pinup typically is the most unforgiving of designs. It all involves intricate detail, and you can't mess up on anything. Everything has to be just right, from the hair to the toes. If anything is off, you botch the pinup. It looks perfect. If we could round their butt off and maybe hike them up just a hair. You want to bring the garters up higher? Yeah. My canvas is being overly picky. I just want to make sure I didn't get some little pencil body on there. You know how small that girl is. Oh, no, I definitely uh, had to yeah, muscle her up a little bit. I think it's a trust issue, but he's got no choice. He's just going to have to trust me. I'll go run a copy, and then we'll stick it on you. He's going to have to just go along for the ride and let me drive the bus. That's what I'm here to do. So far, so good. I am definitely one of the top tattoo artists in the house. I probably can't even count how many Navy pinups I've done. I'm gonna kill it. I think there's gonna be a lot of bed uh, I've walked around, I've seen a couple. K-Cutter, I'm gonna help you go home.
think a lot of the guys would have been scared to try this on the side. It's an intimidating spot for yeah. some people on lower ability levels. My strategy at this point in the game is to try to win. My pinup grill is going to be solid. All my lines are clean. I'm going to have by far the most detail. It's going to be epic. I can't miss. This week, we asked you to tattoo a pinup as gorgeous as the real thing based solely on your photos. We were testing your attention to detail. Jamie. So what did your client want? A uh, football player pin up on his ribs. This jersey and this outfit is awesome. I like the attention to detail in the face. You showed people in this room how to do a face. You did simple hair, but you did nice strands in it. I'm back in my groove, I think. You did it on the ribs. It's just as clean on the ribs as it would have been on the arm, and that shows us that you know what you're doing. Steve. You did this Navy pinup. Why did you select him? I'm from a Navy town. He was in the Navy. He wanted black and gray, so it just seemed to fit. I love the fact that you were able to pack so much detail into such a simple design. This is how it's supposed to be done. This is the right way to shade a figure, use the light and dark. You really are the shining example for how to do a pinup in this field. Two of you tattooed a pinup as sexy as the original, and two of you missed the mark. Steve and Jamie, your tattoos were the best of the day. The judges have decided that the tattoo of the day goes to Steve. You have six hours to give your canvas a hot pinup with sexy proportion. And your time begins now. I'm liking this. After getting hit so hard on doing an animated style, I'm definitely going to keep this more on what I would consider a traditional style pinup. It's not an overthought out pinup. And tell me how many you've seen like this. Definitely stands out in the crowd, that's for sure. This week, you had to tattoo pinups using proportion to make them sexy. Jimmy. You know, overall, I think you did a great job. She's cute. The outfit, the detail in the shirt is awesome with the wrinkles. This position, very, very hard to pull off. It's easy to make a girl look believable and cute when you show every shape of the body and the shoulders and everything. But the fact that she has no neck, the fact that her hands actually cross the barrier being in front of her face, proportionally, it's totally believable. You really did a good job on this. Today, we tested your ability to use proportion to make pinup tattoos insanely hot. One of you wowed us, but three of you were less than perfect. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Jimmy. You guys. The different tricks that you pulled off are what we're looking for when we're looking for somebody to hold the title of Ink Master. Thank you. All right, you have six hours to tattoo a pinup. If your tattoo isn't gorgeous, you'll be packing your machines. And your time begins now. All right, let's do it. Let's get it on. The last time I competed, I was in the bottom for the pinup challenge. The brown outline on this thing was a miss. This tattoo just looks so unfinished. I've been going through this whole entire competition showing something that I don't do at home. Why would you come here? What do you mean? Why would you come compete if all you do is what you do in your little box? If you're really trying to win, then try to win. Being on the bottom drove me to be the artist that I am now. I personally taking on the challenge of learning these pinups, mastering them, and I'm here to vindicate myself. Today, you all went head to head tattooing the same subject, a pinup. Josh. Technically, very solid. Clean lines, smooth shading. Definitely the details that are in there are nice. The lips, the eyes, the nose. The technical side of what you show just in the face of this thing, you could be a runaway train. Judges. Let's decide who won this challenge. Josh's firewoman, it was good, clean work. You had a pretty face. I wish that everybody tattooed that clean. Sounds like we have a decision. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Josh. Congratulations, Josh. Thank you. And today, you must transform your canvas's significant other into a pinup. I hate this challenge. Pinups are usually a disastrous day in this competition, and I'm not feeling good about it. Your canvases have brought along their better half, who they idealize. You must use ingenuity to show the rest of the world how hot they are, or how hot they think they are. Pinups are incredibly easy to screw up, especially if there's significant others in the room looking over your shoulder. It's unnerving. It throws you off balance. So you wanted your husband driving a car in your arm, right? Exactly. 
This lady's skin is pretty stretched out, and it's gonna be tough to tattoo. Do you want him to look just like he looks now? Do you want him to look when you guys met? A little more hair. <laughs> all right, all right. I've been top since I've been here. You can see that there's not too many people left, so I do not want to be in the bottom. It would suck to make it all this way and not go to the top five. I feel like I'm so close to making the cut, I can't mess it up now. Well, how do we do a male pinup? That is a great <laughs> question. I've never done a male pinup. Gia is my girl, and I am seriously worried. Did you see everybody else's? Well, I just saw Gia. I told her she got the one that I would have wanted. It was the cat. That's the one I wanted, too. But Gia has a worse report card than I do, and so I mm -hmm. took one for the team. Either, that's really what we thought. I got the worst canvas in the room. I got the older couple. This is a tricky tattoo. I gotta do a car. I gotta do a pinup. I'm just thinking how I'm gonna make a car look good on her arm. It's a good looking dude. I'm really happy with this tattoo. You with me forever now. Today you had to show ingenuity by transforming your canvas's significant other into a pinup tattoo. Ryan. Your fabric. The layers of garment with the ruffles looks really good. You definitely show ingenuity. The drawing's great. Thank you. Gian. One of the things I like the most about this entire tattoo is how you dealt with the couple. It was obvious that you were working hard to give them the best tattoo. You definitely could have talked them out of the car, but you didn't. And you gave yourself a tough tattoo to do, and you did it. And what I think you really captured is how proud this dude is sitting in front of his baby. It has soul, and that shows a lot of creativity and a lot of ingenuity. I love this thing. All right, guys, time to discuss who had the best tattoo of the day. Today, I think thinking out of the box and the ingenuity challenge, John just sends home a really strong tattoo. It was the perfect design, the perfect application. Had you fumbled on that or anything, then immediately I would be with Ryan. So I just have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Gian. You have six hours to tattoo a sexy pinup with appealing proportion. And your time starts now. All right. Let's do, it. do this. Today we're testing proportion with Ink Master's favorite pinups. Go ahead and take a mirror. I want to make yeah. sure you, you like where it's at. These artists need to make sure that her proportions are all voluptuous and sexy. There is one spot of this tattoo that is going to hurt so bad. <laughs> Today, we're going to make these artists switch every 30 minutes because we want to see that you can do it all. If you came with a strong teammate, then you shouldn't have any worries. All right, Mika, let's rock and roll. You're on boots next, right? Yeah, I'm going to do her uh, shirt and boots, finish the rest of the water. The Cool Kids Club is scrambling and struggling for their lives, and we're sitting here on Easy Street. That looks sharp. Dude, this thing's just coming together. Just coming together. Black Cobra did a good job. They gave the worst skull picks to the Alliance. The veterans are going to take control of this thing. This Cool Kids Club is in a little more trouble than they realize. Today, you had to tattoo a pinup. Basilica tattoo. I like the perspective on the tattoo. I think overall the composition is great. It's a really cute face. I love the detail in the shirt. I love the background and the foreground with this fish. This is what I expected to see. Thank nice. you. Nice job. Black Cobra tattoos. I really like this tattoo. It's really clean, it's really simple, and it tells the whole story. I love the details in it. The shoes, the leather you have coming up to the top of the calves. Really, really nice, clean outline, no wobbles. Overall, technically, best tattoo of the day, by far. Thank you. All right, Chris, it's time to announce tattoo of the day. As far as I'm concerned, there's two really standout tattoos, Black Cobra and Basilica. I gotta be honest. if. Basilica punched in the color the way Black Cobra did. That's bulletproof tattooing. But I would argue that the proportions in Basilica are more spot on. Yes. My vote is for Basilica. I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to go Basilica because of the proportion. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Basilica. All right, artists, you have six hours to create a pinup tattoo. And your time starts now. All right, brother. What's this? Stand natural for me. Pinups are very tough because there's very small little eyes, a very small little nose, dainty little fingers. So every drop of ink you put on the skin has to be perfect. Oh, that's a good spot. It should be cute, it should be attractive, it should be beautiful. That's what makes a pinup a pinup. Perfect stencil, dude. It's gonna be a good day. If a pinup's ugly, she's not coming to meet my mom. All right. 
Here we go. The face is the most important part. That's right where they go in Can't there. check up the face, man. No. Pinups are not my thing, but I do a ton of faces and portraits. So with that, I'm good. You OK? Yeah. One thing I'm worried about is my canvas looks like she's not feeling too good. Excuse me. She's coughing every now and then, and she's just real fidgety. I like burn it up and stuff. Right. It was before I came, though. It's not because of the tattoo. If you f up a line at all, you can't fix it. I need my canvas to stay still. <laughs> you get tattooed and you're not feeling too good, it makes it even worse. I was smart. I did the face first. I just say those boots were last, man. It's a tattoo that I knew I could pull off in two and a half hours. Yeah, I'm not going to tattoo you anymore. Oh, you're not? No. As a tattoo artist, you have to know when enough is enough. So we're going to call it right there, OK? OK. It's a good tattoo. It's done well. I just hope that it's enough. Thank you. Have a good day. You're I hope it's a winner, OK? I think it's a winner, man. Oh, crazy. Today, you had to show artistry tattooing a pinup. Jarrell. Hi, guys. I really like this girl. I especially love the dark strip of shading that you have down the center of her leg that pushes out. That light source is beautiful. And the way that you get that nice, gentle, soft texture in the shirt really shows well. You're really shining on this one. Thank you. That's what's up. Yeah. <laughs> Angel. I really, really like this illustration. The color play works great. I like the way the legs are shaded because it gives it that sheer look. With the stockings and the strap, you're paying attention to the pressure that this strap is putting onto the skin. That's a great testament to your artistry. I'm glad you noticed it. I noticed it right away. All right, guys, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. You guys killed it. Nice. Jarrell is definitely in the top today. This thing is unique. It's done beautifully. Now, I love angels. Everything about this tattoo, the drawing, the color play. Angels is a much tougher tattoo to do. Yeah. But Jarrell's the cleanliness is undeniable. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Jarrell. <laughs> He's got artistry on his face. 